I remember thinking, I've definitely passed that plant at least three times already. Or maybe not. So then if the sun rises in the east, that means I'm heading north? Although Australia is in a different hemisphere, so maybe that's not the case. Okay, I'm lost. This whole endeavor started out as a Sunday stroll through Sydney, Australia. I wanted to get a hang of the city and feel like less of a tourist and more of an Aussie. I'd arrived in Australia about a week ago, and that morning I was heading to Manly Beach. My mission was simple, to get tan. Manly Beach is in North Sydney, while I lived in South Sydney, so I thought the only thing separating these two parts was the Harbour Bridge, only a 30 minute walk. I was very wrong. One of the first things I noticed on my walk were the birds. Hearing these exotic bird calls firsthand was unreal and unlike anything I'd heard before. The second thing I noticed was how incredibly loud those birds were. You've never felt true fear until a cockatoo screeches at you from a nearby tree. It's haunting. The eclectic collection of stores throughout Sydney were a welcome distraction. Even though I grew up near New York City, Sydney impressed me with such diverse shops and it had such a green atmosphere. These tended parks and gardens were along most streets, kind of like an oasis away from the city life. By the time I reached the Harbour Bridge, what I thought was the last leg of my journey, I'd gotten a good feel for the vibrant city life of Sydney. I was so excited to cross the bridge and get to the beach. Seeing the harbour and opera house were like something out of a postcard. But instead of seeing sandy shores on the north side of the bridge, I was met with more parks and some neighbourhood homes. The sun was now high in the sky and there was still no beach in sight. But the homey atmosphere of Sydney was almost comforting in this foreign city. I walked past yards with dog houses, children playing, and gardens. I even got a few good days from friendly residents. Maybe this wasn't my intended destination, but I was experiencing a part of Sydney I never considered. So, six hours after the start of my journey, pink from the sun and wary from the walk, I made it to Manly Beach. The blue ocean and soft sand were more amazing than I could have imagined. I was psyched to finally start my beach day. But unfortunately that would have to wait since the sun was already setting and it was time to head back home.